everyone so it is day two here in Ubud Bali we just got up I think it's around like 10 a.m. right now we were kind of unsure what we're gonna do today if you watch yesterday's vlog you'll know we got like a scooter and explored a bit around here in Ubud but I think we're gonna rent the scooter one more day and I think we're gonna be heading up north to a place that's like over an hour away so quite high like in the hills it's supposed to be a lot cooler there and it's supposed to be like a really cool temple on a lake there so we're gonna be heading there and after that we don't really know but yeah we'll probably just explore some other places so yeah we're just gonna head there now get on the scooter and head to the hills all right this one okay, thank you all right first we gotta fill some gas So that was almost like four dollars to to fill the tank, full tank of gas. And as always, I'm always sat on the back with the Google Maps open to be the GPS. Google chaos. decided to take a break at the side of the road I think we still got like 40 minutes to go but the traffic in Bali is absolutely insane probably the worst like place yeah Carol's had to drive a scooter yet a lot worse than Philippines and the places we drove in uh, in Thailand so far very stressful right Carol a lot I hate it now it's more calm we're in like the countryside but yeah around Ubud and stuff just just nuts really a lot of the roads just bad conditions people driving crazy but yeah right now we're in a beautiful part like I'll show you a bit better yeah, so look at this now it's all like rice fields palm trees everywhere looks really beautiful we're gonna head back on the scooter and hopefully the path to this temple and lake will be a lot better sure where we are we just found this like pretty cool viewpoint I think we're only like 10 minutes away from the lake and the temple now but here it is insanely beautiful that's why we stopped so you can see how high we are right now beautiful scenery basically everything's just green the drive wasn't too bad once we got on that main road right this yeah the worst what the, I, I still think this is the worst base place to drive a scooter yeah it still wasn't super like um, relaxing the drive right now but we basically got on one main road and it was like just 40 minutes straight so at least there wasn't turns or anything but yeah pretty pretty nice up here a lot a lot cooler it's almost cold actually when you're driving around like dressed like this it was pretty cool so not bad though since it's so hot all right so we finally arrived at the temple now feels like it took forever and this temple is called Ulung Danu uh, Berathan Berathan is the lake that it's sat on and it cost about three dollars fifty each to get in so not too expensive so yeah we're just gonna explore this place now So we've come to what's probably recognized as like the iconic part of the temple, which is these cool pagodas here. See there's two of them. Right in the lake. Looks pretty cool. 
Ever been to a temple in the lake before? No, first time. First time, right? Pretty nice. I bet it's beautiful on a sunny day. Yeah. But it's just nice like that. Yeah, it's still nice. Mystical vibes. of this place are actually quite big so everybody's pretty much at the part with the pagodas in the lake taking photos there but if you just walk around it's it's actually quite peaceful nobody really here right now you can probably see how high we are because look at all those clouds we're pretty much in the clouds I think I read that it's like a um, thousand two hundred meters above sea level so yeah that's why it's so cool and um, yeah it's just nice just pretty huge lake here check it out I forgot to mention an important thing, also I haven't mentioned it in any of my vlogs here in Bali yet, that Bali, the main religion, is called Balinese Hinduism. Indonesia as a whole is mainly Muslim, which might surprise some people, but Bali is like 90% Balinese Hinduism from what I've read, which is basically Hinduism with a bit of like Balinese Indonesian culture mixed with it, but yeah, it's basically just Hindu. Everything you see around the island is pretty much like Hindu temples and that's why you all see the statues of the gods and stuff. And I think this temple is, is a sect of Hinduism that they see Shiva as like the main god or something like that from what I read. So we're heading out now, um, I think we actually expected the temple to probably be a bit better, not that it was bad, still a really nice temple but wasn't really like mind blowing or anything but yeah still, still a nice place to come, very different, like I said I've never seen a temple on a lake before so that's pretty cool. I think now we're just going to try and find like a restaurant, there was loads of nice views on the way here like rice fields and stuff so yeah I think we're going to try and find a restaurant that's overlooking a rice field or something. Uh, with some cool mountainous views. Hopefully we can find one. We found our little restaurant in the mountains, kind of like a wooden local looking place. And yeah, some pretty amazing views once again. Here you got some like really lush green scenery here. And there seems to be some sort of abandoned hotel here. I saw people there. So yeah, I think after we eat, I might check out that abandoned hotel since it's right here. Ow. So me and Carol both got vegetable soup. Pretty good on a cold day, right? Mm -hmm. How does it taste? Great. Great. Mm -hmm. And I also got some ginger coffee. Never had ginger with coffee before, so see how that tastes. Let's try out this ginger coffee. Smell it. Smells like ginger, right? It's like weird but good at the same time. You want a bit? No? The, the ginger is very strong, but it's tasty. Spicy sauce, right? A yeah, a little bit spicy food, but also very tasty. So I also grabbed a nice chocolate donut. So all that food, the coffee and drink and everything was only around like $5, so $2.50 each. Pretty cheap. that abandoned place next to the restaurant that was actually a hotel but they were like charging money and stuff and we just couldn't be bothered paying but we have come to another abandoned building there's quite a few around here you see all like the graffiti and stuff 
No, I'm not really sure what this place is though. You can see here there like seems to be loads of different rooms. Yeah, I don't know what it used to be. What have we got? Rain. Rain. <laughs> yeah, it started raining now as well and we didn't really want to ride in the scooter in the rain, so probably take shelter in, in this place. You can see I guess there was another building here and there. And you got some pretty nice scenery in the back, but it's very cloudy right now. <laughs> it's raining hard, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, it is like the start of rain season now, like we're going into May, so we've been lucky with weather during our last three months of travels, just been pretty much sunny all the time, but I think now probably every now and again we're going to get like rainstorms and stuff, so yeah, I guess this might be the start. <laughs> Alright, so I was able to get some drone shots at least and I even flew to that abandoned hotel you probably saw so yeah I didn't have to go in I can just fly my drone there but really beautiful around here just farms after farms after farms it seems but pretty cool and we got to make the most of while it's not raining now and get out of here hopefully it doesn't rain on the way back because yeah the weather kind of seems like that kind of weather where it's just going to keep raining stop rain stop so yeah need to get out of here right now Predicted a lot of rain. No trends driving back in in this weather. <laughs> All right, update. It's been about like 20 minutes so fast, and um, yeah, it's still raining. Still can't leave. So excited to come to some little place here to get some coffee, some warm coffee. So yeah, this can happen during travel. You get stuck. <laughs> Okay, we made it back safe. Actually ended up taking like uh, three hours to get here instead of just like one. So yeah, that was a real mission. And it's actually dry down here. Down the south, it didn't rain at all. I did read that it rains more up north. So yeah, maybe that's why. And this is pretty much our last video from Bali for now. Tomorrow we're planning on heading to the Gili Islands nearby. So all the next videos will probably be from the Gili Islands. We might even visit all three of them. I think there's three, I'm not sure. But yeah, we might visit all of them. And yeah, Bali's been pretty cool. I can definitely see why a lot of people come here. I think I was a bit surprised by how busy it was. I didn't realize it would be this busy. Even today, like heading north, I thought it'd be more like empty roads and stuff and just us on the scooters, but pretty much all the roads were packed heading up north as well. And all the places that we went were really busy. So yeah, I guess now all the islands busy or something. I'm not sure. Everywhere I've been on, on these trips so far has been really busy, so. Yeah, maybe that's just how it is. And yeah, I'm gonna close the video out because i um, obviously not doing anything else today after all that mission. We've been out a long time. So if you like this video, just drop me a like to support me. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos and adventures. And I'll see you guys in the next one.